So after months of waiting, well, you no, know, not months, but two weeks of waiting patiently, not patiently, and barely talking about it and not obsessing over it at all, really. And uh, the Note 20 Ultra 5G is finally here in the box and I can't wait to get stuck in and have a look. So I know you've probably seen lots of unboxings already. It is literally raining Note 20 Ultras online when you go to YouTube. That's why I appreciate if you are here looking at this video, if you are watching this, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I also massively appreciate any other video that you watch. If you do like the channel, you want to show support, please check out the links in the description. Give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe as well. That would make a massive difference. Thank you very much. But on to the phone. I think you came here to see. Again, if you have been watching videos, you are probably sick to death of the Note 20 Ultra in the quite well hyped Mystic Bronze. That is all you see at the moment. So there's the first glimpse of the phone. What a gigantic phone it is. Probably a slab. And you can already see the colour at the bottom. Little hint of what that's going to be. You haven't noticed already. I'm going to whisk that off to the side. Look in the box. Which I think everyone just knows where to look for this now. And board and paper stuff. Nothing there. And just the SIM card adjuster tool. So give it a squash to make sure there's nothing hidden in there. Nope, that is everything. So in some regions you are going to get a phone case. No phone goes here, and in other regions as well, you are going to get the tips for the S Pen, spare tips. As you can see, nothing in there. Random little bit of card. A white plug. Just reminds me of the old school ones you used to get, like all Samsung plugs used to be white. Um, I've not had one for a while because I always go with black or the nearest to black that I can get. More random cardboard. USB-C to USB-C charging cable, again in white, it's going to look a bit weird, but it will stop Emma from stealing my cable or, and saying it's not hers, it's not mine, it's hers, because it quite clearly is mine, hers is black and has been missing for quite a while now. And then finally, something else you don't get in America, headphones. Again, white headphones is going to be, I don't know, I just feel like they draw more attention than you need. And I will be getting the buds as well so yeah stay tuned for a video on them it's a braided cable which is always a bonus and it is USB-C because as with almost every phone now there is no headphone jack also got a little welcome to EE little gift on us included so I'll have a look at that in a moment and then there's some clear white tips I almost missed because they are white and transparent now with the black ones they're usually just a solid black, so there you go, clear. Now, I always go for black phones, always go for the black or the nearest the black variant that they have. I haven't had a white phone since the white and silver HTC One, and that was the last non-black or dark blue phone that I had. So I'm actually a bit nervous about the difference, but to be honest, I just think the, the black of the Note 20 Ultra just looked boring and I'd probably put off by it. Couple of notes, well, couple of things to note on the design on this. One, I know I've, I said I'm not going to talk about it because everyone mentions it, but that's the camera bump there, as you can see. It is pretty big, doesn't really bother me. I mean, depends on the camera performance. If the camera performance is naff and the bump is that big, then that's a bit disappointing, but all things considered, I think it's going to be pretty good. It would be nice if the foam was a little bit thicker, get a bigger battery in it. It's not exactly heavy, so it wouldn't have hurt to make it a bit thicker. Big, big battery, and then the, the bump is effectively smaller, but, you know, hey-ho, it is what it is. So, yeah, I think the design looks massively premium. Let's take the plastic off the back. And I think there is anything on the front. Yeah, there's a little screen protector. We're going to leave that on for now. I'm going to get it booted up. Boom. You see how huge the phone is. I uh, have something as well that is a bit different, a bit alien to me. Is the S Pen. I've been using the pen solidly for the last few years since the Note 8. I was my first Note and I've never gone back since. And they've always been darker. So I'm a little bit nervous about having a white one where it's going to look grubby and how that's going to stand the test of time. And also the fact it's on the left hand side. 
bit weird. But I imagine that's probably to do with the size of that bump. And the fact that the buttons now are on the right side, which is the right side. Yeah. Um, the reason I like it is, I'll show you my case in a minute for the Note 10, and we'll look at side by side, but I won't take that off as well. Ooh. There we go. When I use my case, I always use a case with a kickstand, and every time I use it, the buttons are on the underneath, which I do just tend to use air gestures on the S Pen to turn the volume up and down because the phone will rest like that on the volume button. So this way, at least on the top, they are accessible. It's a good, good height for the power button as well. My hands are fairly big, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna set that there for a second. Here's my Note 10 Plus, which I've had for 12 months. As you can see with the speaking case, which I use on all my phones, maybe it's time for a change, maybe suggest something. I can see the colour is the dark blue. That volume button's there, and the rest's there. So every time I want to change the volume, I've got to lift the phone up and press that, or use the air gestures. I'm going to take it out the case for a moment. I'm going to be doing a 12-month review of the Note 10, and whether you can recommend the Note 10 Plus today. Uh, so stay tuned and subscribe for that video. That will be coming very soon. You can see it's in pretty good condition, and it is a fingerprint magnet. And for comparison, there they are side by side. So it's a few millimeters bigger on the Note 20 Ultra, and you can really feel that notch on there. It feels like something's a bit broken or stuck on, but I'm sure I'll get used to that, especially when there's a case on it. Recommend your best case manufacturers down in the bottom, because uh, maybe it's time for a change from the speaking one, but I do need to have a kickstand because I watch a lot of videos on here. That is it. What do you think of the colour? Let me know in the comments what you think of the colour, what you think of the phone itself, and what if you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them in an upcoming video. One thing you will note as well about the, the white, I can't try and stop saying note, is that intentional? Would I normally say note or is that just because it's subconscious because of the phone in my hand? I don't know. But either way, there's nothing mystic about this. This is just white. Yes, it's a little bit marbly maybe, but it's just white and silver. Now, Samsung, you can't just call all phones Mystic Black, Mystic White, and Mystic Bronze and give the bronze a frosted back. A frosted white back would have been awesome and it would have made more sense of the whole Mystic thing. I mean, Mystic doesn't really describe a colour anyway, but I just think Mystic is a bit of a lie here. Mystic on the bronze is because of the, the frosted texture, then great, but this doesn't have that frosted texture. This is just white. I say it's a little bit of a sheen in there. A slight kind of opaly marble type effect to it, but in general, it just is a white and silver phone. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, any thoughts, anything you want to see in a full review or a first impressions, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And if it gives a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the video, if you want to see more going forward. I'm off to get this bad boy set up.